Donating blood has both benefits and potential drawbacks. Here's a breakdown of the main pros and cons. Pros, saving lives. Each blood donation can potentially save up to three lives, benefiting accident victims, surgical patients, and individuals with blood disorders. Heart health benefits. Regular blood donation can help reduce iron levels in the blood, which may reduce the risk of heart disease by lowering oxidative stress caused by iron. Cancer risk reduction, lowering iron levels might also reduce the risk of certain cancers, as high iron levels have been linked to increased risk of cancers like liver, colon, and esophageal cancer. Free health screening. Donors are screened for various conditions, including hemoglobin levels, blood pressure, and infectious diseases. This can help you monitor your, your health regularly and catch potential issues early. Improved liver health. Reducing excess iron in the blood by donating can prevent iron buildup in the liver, which reduces the risk of liver-related issues and diseases. Calorie burning. A blood donation session burns approximately 650 calories, though this varies from person to person. Enhanced red blood cell production. Blood donation stimulates the body to produce new red blood cells, which may improve oxygen transport and overall health. Cons, temporary fatigue. Donors may feel tired, weak, or dizzy after donating due to the sudden loss of red blood cells and lower blood volume. Possible side effects. Some people experience nausea, dizziness, or even fainting after donating blood, especially if they haven't eaten or hydrated well before the session. Bruising and discomfort. There may be minor bruising or soreness at the site where the needle was inserted, which can last for a day or two. Iron depletion. Frequent donations can lead to low iron levels, which may require donors to take iron supplements or focus on iron-rich foods to prevent anemia. Restrictions on activities. After donating, people are usually advised to avoid strenuous exercise and heavy lifting for a day or two, which can be inconvenient. Wait time between donations. Donors need to wait about eight weeks, 56 days between donations, which may be inconvenient if they'd like to donate more frequently. Not suitable for everyone. Certain individuals with specific health conditions, e.g. anemia, recent surgery, or low weight, may not be eligible to donate, which can be disappointing for those wanting to help. For most healthy adults, blood donation is a safe and fulfilling way to contribute to the community and healthcare system while also experiencing some personal health benefits. Yes, there are several types of donation services that can benefit both yourself and society. Here are some meaningful ways to give back. One, platelet donation. What it is, donating platelets, the blood cells that help with clotting, is often needed by cancer patients, trauma victims, and surgical patients. Benefits, platelet donation helps save lives, especially for people with compromised immune systems. For donors, it provides health benefits similar to blood donation, including free health screenings and a chance to contribute to critical patient needs. Two, plasma donation, what it is. Plasma is the liquid part of blood that's used in treatments for clotting disorders, immune deficiencies, and other health issues. Benefits. Plasma donation can improve your own plasma levels and some centers may offer financial compensation. It's also less tiring for donors than donating red blood cells. Three hair donation. What it is. Donating hair to organizations like Locks of Love or Wigs for Kids helps create wigs for cancer patients and others with medical related hair loss. Benefits. Hair donation supports individuals dealing with illness and boosts self-esteem. For donors, it's a chance to change up your look while making a positive impact. For organ donation, what it is, while living, you can donate organs like a kidney or part of your liver. Posthumous organ donation by registering as an organ donor can save lives after your death. Benefits, living organ donors often report high levels of personal satisfaction from saving a life. Being an organ donor after death is a lasting way to give life to others without personal cost. Five, bone marrow donation. What it is, bone marrow transplants treat leukemia, lymphoma, and other blood diseases. Donating bone marrow or stem cells helps patients with these conditions. Benefits, donors often feel a strong sense of accomplishment knowing they're giving someone a chance at recovery. This can be a more intensive procedure, but it has life-changing impacts for recipients. Six, clothing and household goods donation. What it is, Donating gently used clothes, shoes, household items, and furniture to charities like Goodwill, Salvation Army, or shelters. Benefits. 
Decluttering has mental health benefits and you'll support low-income individuals and families. Some donations may be tax deductible as well. Seven food donations. What it is, donating non-perishable food items to food banks or shelters helps combat hunger in local communities. Benefits. Supporting food security feels rewarding and it also promotes a culture of gratitude and awareness around food choices. Many communities have food drives or donation events where you can get involved. Eight, clothing swaps and buy nothing groups. What it is, participating in local clothing swaps or buy nothing groups helps promote sustainable consumerism by reusing and sharing goods. Benefits, you reduce waste, foster a sense of community, and can sometimes find items you need in exchange for things you no longer use. Nine, donating time through volunteering. What it is, volunteering your time for various causes, teaching, mentoring, or providing manual support for charities and nonprofits. Benefits, volunteering often provides mental and social benefits, improving your well-being by promoting a sense of purpose and community. Many nonprofits rely on volunteers, so your time can be just as valuable as material donations. Donating skills and expertise. What it is, if you have specialized skills, like teaching, design, tech, or medical knowledge, you can donate these talents through pro bono work or workshops. Benefits, you get to apply your skills for meaningful causes, which can enhance your resume and build connections while offering significant support to charities or underserved communities. Each of these donation types offers unique ways to contribute to society while gaining personal satisfaction, and some even offer tax or other benefits. Thank you.